What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Today we have our first Dominaria remastered draft box. This one is for Nathan A., one of my Facebook group members. We're also going to be doing a collector booster box for him, and uh, probably do these back to back, upload them one right after another. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That way you can get on the beefy giveaways we do here. And uh, let me know what you think about Dominaria remastered so far, and what you think is going to happen to these single prices because right now they are absolutely insane so we got 36 packs here starting off for nathan um i've noticed you know an average between four and eight borderless cards out of this so lots of really uh lots of really good value out of these in a sub 200 dollars box curious if these stay sub 200 Again, that's going to depend on what happens with these singles. So far, we're starting off slow. A Pyre Zombie and a Royal Assassin. These retro lands are a nice little hit, even though they're not foil. Some people like to, uh, to still run those. We're going to count how many Mythics we get, too. I'll throw those in a, uh, the Mythics in a different pile. Our first Borderless card, it's going to be an Uncommon. Rada, Air to Kel. Typically, when you get an Uncommon Borderless, it's this one. Hannah Sulfuric Vortex. Tatovia, Benthic Druid. In foil. That used to be a pretty decent card. So three packs in, no big hits, no mythics. Sandstorm. Arcades Sabbath. Video is starting kind of slow, but these are still. Remember, these are draft boxes, so they're meant to be drafted, so I'm sure this would still be a very fun and interesting draft, regardless of the hits. There we go. There's our first hit. Retro Frame in Tomb. I think it's currently like a 30-ish dollar card. Maybe a few dollars more. And it has that uh, really sick Seb McKinnon artwork on this one. Moving on to pack. What is this? Five? Four, five, six? Something like that. Isolated Chapel. I love these check lands. I remember the uh, the Ixalan Return to Ravnica, not Return to Ravnica, Guilds of Ravnica, but like that standard. Mana bases were so good at that time. You could literally build any deck that you wanted to. Jester's Cap with some really sick artwork. I'm trying to Trying to figure out my camera frame in here. I've got it kind of still like that it's a little better i keep trying to push these out of frame because i'm looking at the cards directly and not through the camera that's a hit urza's incubator retro frame very nice i think that's probably the second or third best hit in the set or it was things do change so the entomb the incubator uh almost done with the first stack not doing too bad. Exploration, solid rare there. Foil Avarax. Sleeve up the Exploration. That's about a $10 card. And the best thing about this set, I think, is the uh, the uncommon Mirage Tutors that are now rares. In those printed, especially for the, the Commander players, are constantly searching for those, and we never have enough of them in store. So hopefully this will help uh, fill that void. And of course, force of wills are always, people are always needing those. Some of the sickest art, personally, some people may love it, some people may hate it. I personally love that. Borderless Jester's Cap, Retro Sarah Angel. I think that's going to be my chase card out of this set, is this card in foil. Shouldn't be too hard to hit, but uh, I, may, I may collect a few binder pages of just that card. Dragon Blood. Sulkinar Swamp King. Marriott Lage token in the back there. Tell a couple people that are searching for that. Slice and Dice, Chainer Dementia Master. I think it was originally out of Torment, right? Torment's a uh, very, very fond memories of that set. Nantuko Shade, Laquatus Champion. Lots of fun. Mystic Remora Borderless. There we go. With a Retro Tatovia. Let's leave the, uh, the fish here. So far, not a bad box. 
we get a couple couple more mythic hits here we'll be doing real good worldly tutor box is heating up so let, let me actually give me a minute and i'm going to go through and kind of divide these up into different piles here so we're going to do borderless we're going to do tutors borderless mythics and i'm going to throw the uh the entomb in the tutor pile we'll count it as half of a tutor right and everything else we'll just put over here to the side for the time being. Kind of keep track of what we got. Make it easier at the end. I think we may have a square corner. Almost have a square cornered card. I don't know if you guys can see it there. Almost didn't get cut. Retro Opposition. <clears throat> There's nothing more filthy than making a bunch of squirrels. And then tapping your opponent's lands with this card. Retro Foil Royal Assassin. That's a really pretty card. Oh, and it's, all, it's the card that almost had the, uh, the square corner. Might be worth a buck or two extra to somebody in one of the misprints groups. The almost squared corner. Here we go, Lyra Dawnbringer. That's that's the kind of stuff we're after. Very nice card there. The second mythic of the uh, of the box. So we're kind of slow on mythics here. Maybe the second half will. We'll get us caught up. I don't. I've not really paid attention because I've not opened a ton of these to the uh, the average mythic count. I would guess five or six, <clears throat> similar to any other draft box. Mystic Remora, Drake. So hopefully everybody has a chance to get out there at LGS and uh, play with this set this weekend. This is a lot of fun. Foil Deep Anal. Crawl space is worth a little bit. We'll just leave the crawl space. Card was getting really hot <clears throat> right before this reprint. They timed the reprint just perfectly to keep that card from getting real expensive. Retro Helm of Awakening, originally a Visions Rare, I do believe. It's so weird opening like a 36 pack draft box these days since we, we, we've got the 30, 30 pack set boosters that are more popular we have the siege gang we have of course the 12 pack collector boosters or four pack collector boosters depending on uh if you're, if you're getting into the double master stuff or not so actually having to sit through 36 whole packs of just regular plain old cards without a you know there it, there is some variation here with the uh with the artwork but uh not everything is like crazy shiny foil in every pack. It's definitely a change of pace. It's a it's a different kind of it's a different kind of Kraken for sure. Clifftop Retreat, that's gonna be our second uh second check land. I'm actually uh we got a Rada too, so I don't know if I'll count the Rada borderless in the borderless count. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. We'll see how I feel about it at the end. We got another borderless card here. What's it going to be? It's going to be a rare because of where it's at. Arborea. That's a nice hit in the borderless. Perfect. Third borderless hit. Not counting the uncommon. Got a little value there too. Ooh, I think I saw another borderless card. What's this one going to be? It's a Lotus Blossom. See lots of these in the collector boosters. Lots and lots of those. It's crazy to see a card that says Lotus on it so many times. Back in the uh, back in the old days, if you got a card that said Lotus or Mox on it, even after the reserve list stuff, it was a uh, it was a good day. You'd always get super hyped about it. So we're on our last stack here. So far, so good. Not, nothing out of the crazy ordinary here. Absorb, nice little counter spell. That's a card that got expensive uh, right before the last reprint, or as the last the last reprint came out, people were. We were super hyped about it because, uh, sheesh. There we go. Force of Will. That makes the box. Retro Force of Will for Nathan. Congratulations, dude. And that's what we're after. Um, yeah, let's throw that in the Mythic pile. That'll get the box there. That probably nearly pays for the entire box at the pre-release prices anyways. The rest is just gravy. 
body snatcher. So three mythics so far. I feel like uh, I feel like we're gonna get shorted on some mythics here, but you know, they're like you gotta you gotta retro force a wheel. Just take what you get and get over it. So you got the retro Urza incubator and the retro retro force of will. Outside of them being foil, that's about as good as you can do. Maze of Ith, good rare, ten bucks or so. Looks like we have five or six packs left. Count this one in my hand. Ooh, another borderless card. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, it's the Nut Collector. What a name. What a name. So that puts us up to five borderless cards. About where I anticipated it being. Arcanus Omnipotent. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't get the rest of the Onslaught Titans in this. Just that one. Feels kind of weird to me. Like, why didn't we get Jareth and Vassar and Rorix, Silvos, the whole lot of them? It feels weird to reprint one card out of a cycle. Retro Woodland Cemetery. We'll take it. Another check land. So I'm glad these boxes just aren't completely choked out with these check lands. I think that'll, that'll help them hold a little bit of value and you not feel too bad. Borderless High Tide. Yep, nice card. Another Pyre Zombie. But uh, yeah, I think they hit, that's a good hit rate. You know, looks like we're getting three or four per draft box. Whenever you call it 10 packs. What a draft box. Sheesh. Sylvan Library for a fourth mythic. Holy smokes. Doesn't get much better than that in the mythic slot. Last pack for you, Nathan. Congratulations on this box and a retro Arborea. Heck yeah. Let's leave that up for you and uh this was very light on tutors, but uh, I think the mythics, the mythics got you there, dude. I'm gonna recheck the stack and see if I missed any of the, any mythics or anything, just to, uh, to verify we only got four. It looks like it's just a four mythic box, but if you're gonna get a four mythic box, that's the way to do it. Well, guys, I appreciate you hanging with me. Got a collector box for Nathan right up after this one, so stay tuned for that if you've already watched this one. Uh, you know, stroll on by and check out the other one too. As always, I love your faces, and we'll catch you in the next one.